Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM. Our organization is thriving and we are actually doing pretty damn well. We have interesting stuff floating around in our research labs. We've got a sectoid leader on the way and our bases are progressing nicely. We've got lots of workshops in the making which will fill with uh, hard-working engineers that will make us all kinds of goodies and lots and lots of money. But sac sadly, of course, there are also sacrifices. I mean, we haven't lost a single mission, but we have lost 126 good people already. People are dying. It's brutal out there. Luckily, we have no shortage of uh, new recruits incoming all the time. At this point in time. We got 22 good people on the way in 66 hours. Uh, we also have other bases that we're now slowly filling up. And as soon as we actually have enough power suits, whenever that will be, uh, we'll click them into gear with mad kits. Power suits of their own. Uh, better guns, grenades, all the trimmings, all the jazz. Ooh. Hmm. Where are you going? Hmm? What are your plans? Identify yourself. It will be 11 days before you can do that. Oh, 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 shit. They're infiltrating. In Egypt, of all places. Son of bitches. Uh, we can bring the stun rods again, because there will be a commander on this mission. I don't really need them just yet. I will not uh, try and get them actively if it costs the lives of good people. But uh, we might as well, if we get the opportunity, take them down. This might be a snake man. Oh, that's too heavy for you. Um, very large UFO. Which means there might be chrysalids. Which means some of you might be zombified. It's a nasty way to go. We'll make sure you don't stay a chrysalis for very long, don't worry. We will shoot you on sight. Making sure you do not suffer a face faith worse than death. Fate, I should say. Wow, I can't talk yet just yet. It is a new day though. Let's hope my game today is a little bit better than it was the day before and the day before. We don't need the flares, actually. We don't know what it is yet, but they do have guns. Floaters. Okay. And two of them are facing our way. And yeah, that's what happens if you just don't kill one. So if you don't kill one, they will kill you. It's it's pretty simple. Yep, he almost emphasized uh, my point that I just made there. You didn't kill him, and so he fired back. It's quite simple, guys. You either shoot them, or they will shoot you. I can take another shot, but that will block future attempts here. Nice piloting LP, this is a good spot to land. If this mission goes to shit, it will not be because of you. I'm not too fussed about the Reaper uh, over there, I'm gonna just unload the guys. The aliens will have blaster launches in this mission, they will not be able to fire it on the first turn. So let's get everybody out so that we can spread out like crazy after this one. It's two Reapers? No, it's one Reaper. Which means this guy might as well just die. And that should fit. Nice. You're a colonel already, Mr. Philip One Gojira. Or should I say Phil? You don't have good stats though. Lots of room for improvement. Yeah, 
Yeah, decent on the corner. It's not the exact corner, but it will do. One guy left. It's uh, Joe Facepool. And good luck to you. We will probably lose Egypt, which is quite a shame. Once you lose a country, you can never get it back. As soon as you lose eight, you lose the game. And I don't think you can stop infiltration missions, despite the fact that we've intercepted oh, this UFO. Oh, that actually went rather well. Alright. Fine. Well, let our commander do the job. This is a different one. No, that one had a blaster launcher. Good riddance. Oh. Ah, yeah. We knew that one existed. Phil on a dangerous mission. Nice. Quite the marksman. Impressive stuff. So over there is another one. It's going to be very hard to get shots in on him. Can we throw a grenade? Or maybe chain throw one? I think we can chuck a grenade there, can we? There's a big fat UFO in the way though, that is a problem. And maybe the guys over here can, let's just give it a shot. Out of range. Oh! Hmm, we blew up a corpse. We didn't blow up an alien, I think. Regardless, we need to sta start spreading out more. They have blaster launches and they will use it. Now let's go. That is it. I think this is to turn the aliens can still not use explosives. After this they will. I got lucky there. I took one hit to the face. Yeah, I'm not too fussed about these doggies. Although I was hoping Mr. Kojira would react to these dogs running around. Who took the shot to the face? You did. And you got away clean. Alright. Just doing some scouting with them because I know there's another alien there. At least I think there's a float in there as well. Oh, that's two for the price of one. All right, that's good positions at least. You can actually take down this doggy. That took some doing. Some of you will go all the way around. And I'm still in the uh, let's spread out part. There we go. Oh, they panicked already. One soldier's panicking. That's cool. <laughs> Navigators gone berserk. These are very low morale aliens. Maybe we've like caught some on a training mission or something. 
They brought out the rookies for this one. Game is slowing down a bit. I think that's because of the video rendering in the background. Not enough time units. Well, I think we're gonna risk a named shot here. That was a good shot. Let's risk another one. That's a shame. That's a double shame. Please hit him. Nice. Yeah, there might be more over here actually. This is a pretty big map, obviously. Kinda lucky that it's in the desert. stuff. I really want this mission to be uh, smooth and successful. We haven't failed a mission yet, but having said that now, I'm even more scared. These guys are flipping out though, I love it. <laughs> Everybody's flipping out. Brilliant. Good night. Let's uh, rotate these guys, and uh, once they're in position, I'll skip a few turns. Let's see if they freak out more and just come running out, going around panicky in circles, uttering girly screams, all that jazz. And the more they panic and go berserk, the more I might drop their weapons. And I'm still not 100% sure whether or not they pick them up again. There might have been an option for that in the menu that I tagged. It's been a while since I've started this up. I think it's time that we can skip a few. We might even kill off each other this way. Still not seeing a commander has panicked. Alright, I think we've set up nicely, right? Yeah, this is all of you. Good luck to you. And skip until turn 25. Which might be quite boring, but I do think it's the best tactic. And this is a mission of utmost importance, so I'm not gonna mess around. More aliens panicking. I think this is a good time for me to have a sip of soda as it goes on. Oh! Shit. Alright. That's enough with that tactic. There was a blaster launcher hit. And that came out of nowhere. How did they do that? Look at this. They even blew up some of their own Illyrium, dammit. How did they do that? Now there's a hole in the wall there. Yeah, we'll get some guys close and start peeking corners here. Since it should be in the center of my screen, where is it? 
Where is the center of my screen? Apparently it's there. I guess we were lucky to just l lose two there, but uh, one over here could have cost us four soldiers. Let's leave it like this. It's dangerous now. It actually scares me, those blaster launches. That's a hit on themselves. They are wrecking all of my good loot here, though. Nailed in the back. Yeah, you can't move any further, but that's no biggie. I think we'll take care of that Reaper this way. Brilliantly done. Can't move anymore, but it looks clear there. I didn't want to put all my men down again to the floor here because. Yeah, you know what a blaster launcher bolt can do if you get all your men clustered together like that. We will move up though. We should probably should have a guy check out uh, the hole here. Well, they still have a couple of guys out of the fight. And the fact that they got two kills apparently didn't improve their morale too much. This is commanded territory though. We could stun him, just for the heck of it. He dropped his gun though, I doubt he's a commander. Let's just, sh let's just kill him. Make sure that the commander is eventually gonna flip out as well. Oh, hello. That might have been the commander. If it is, it's a dead commander now. We'll, we'll take a commander with mind control eventually and stuff like that. I'm not in any hurry to get one. I'd rather have them just all die like good little aliens. Good shooting. Close to commander. Okay, they, they do have one. They do have one. He might just be simply up in the control room. That's one that just panicked and lost his guns. So you're gonna try and get one alive. Just for the heck of it. I think that's a leader. However, the guy next to him might be commander. That's a shame. There we go. This guy has no weapons. guy with the blaster launcher blew a hole in here. We can't really exit or uh, sorry, can't really enter that room over there. It's no biggie. <coughs> the 
This is the brave Sir Robin amongst the aliens. Hi, dude. Alright, you have a ridiculous amount of health. Was it at least worth it? That's a leader. I was fully expecting to find one here. Apparently we've cleaned this. I'm just curious to see if what alien this is. It's another leader. Ah, we probably killed the commander then. And since they've all panicked and ran away and stuff, this, this guy might actually be anywhere. We are hearing some doors though. Let's have you watch the exits. Oh, there you go. Also unarmed. Okay, well the two live ones are leaders, then not too useful. We got a hundred delirium out of it. Uh, it could have been two hundred. And we only lost five. I say only because it is a very large UFO that we just handled. And we did it quite well. Congratulations, guys. The badly needed reinforcements will be here shortly. Let's sell some crud. Let's bring this down to 500. We could start thinking about saving up all those power sources and stuff now. We are making plenty of money. Look at that Illyrium supply, that's beautiful. We'll keep the heavy plasmas because we don't need it. We've got plenty of money at the moment. Two days. Let's start uh, getting those engineers. Let's do um, 70. 75. Brazil it is. Let's transfer some uh, badly needed stuff there so we can build some power suits there as well. Uh, let's say 200 Lilirium to start off with and 200 alien alloys so they can build whatever they need there. I also sent some better guns which will help. There's already one power suit done for them. I think they're using laser rifles there but we'll send them 20 heavy plasmas with 40 clips. Oh, sorry. And all the alien grenades we currently have. 90. There you go. This will probably be one that we we'll just shoot down over the water. We currently have too few people around to actually handle more missions and we might need them for something more important. Let's try and get this one over the sea. Hmm, it's not cooperating. If he gives us the Danish mission, I will risk it with 11 guys. And he just might. No, it's gonna be a night mission. I'm gonna whack him and we'll play it in the morning. Workshop is done. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, let's just play this mission. I will do the naming um, off screen. So I'll just play this mission and then get the affairs in order with all the engineers and set them up. And then I'll call this a video. Oh, no. Fly all the way there and then go, eh, you know what? Let's not. Of 
course you'd land us right next to a building again. We talked about this, Mr. LP. This is not ideal. Buildings are evil. We all know this. People die because of buildings. There you go. There you go. Up on the roof they are. Alright, we made him pay immediately. More in the building. LP, never do this again, man. Never do this again. You're getting people killed. Buildings are the main cause of death for XCOM soldiers. It's a well-known fact. Now I'm tempted to just blow out the entire side of the building until we see that bloody alien. We probably should. Oh, don't don't shoot you guys now. Yeah, okay, cool. You still have that rookie shooting vibe going on. Not too happy with that. Well, it has improved to 65. That is actually quite an improvement over what it was, I believe. We got the other one on top as well. Otherwise, I would have chucked a grenade on there. It's, I don't think it's necessary. Well, Greg, you'll get some support here. I believe we have plenty of people that can take shots on this guy. Yep. Alright, guys, let's make a run for it. Come on, hot, hot. Whoa! You got plenty of time units. You're a fast guy. I was kind of lucky. Usually they come out and just kill somebody. This guy was more passive. <laughs> the shooting. <laughs> the horrible shooting. So bad. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm getting over aggressive here. But yeah, guys, the, sh the shooting is absolutely horrible. Even from guys that call themselves colonels and and commanders, it is meh, quite iffy. lot more quiet. I don't think there are any more buildings here on this map. This is a great spot for you. You can start sniping from here. You can oversee the entire map. Oh wow, we can actually uh, chuck in a grenade here. Let's just do it. There's no Illyrian to be had anyway. This might uh, be a safe way to get a few. I didn't hear anything die. That was quite disappointing. No alien comes zerging out for a change. Ah, hello. Oh, that was good shooting. I like it. Uh, we need some reinforcements still here. And that he had uh, a few good kills already, I think. Let's get the man some more action. Mr. Kojira, you can check the back. Oh, and there is something to be checked here. Unexpected, a building shows up. Out of nowhere. Oh. 
Yeah, we'll let you just guard. Keep your eyes on that building. And Phil, you're in a not so great spot, but I hope you can uh, live with it if you get uh, the bun. You can! Excellent. You scout out beautifully. And you do your own dirty work too. A worthy colonel. I can totally imagine you getting ambitious for that commander spot now. Obviously you're the better candidate. Everybody can see it. Everybody knows it. It's like the elephant in the room. more here. I thought it was just a UFO, but it's not. And it's up on the second floor or up on the roof, which means, Phil, we need a little bit more line of fire here. Oh! <laughs> well, you did open up uh, a visual lane to the, <laughs> to the enemy, so you kind of did what I wanted you to do. You just did something else too. Something we call collateral here in XCOM. Yeah, just fire anyway. Alright. Two down. <laughs> One because of us. And we have another colonel in the room. Alright. Well, with that out of the way, let's fill this thing up. And let's start a naming ceremony that I will start off off screen. So in the next video, there will be lots of new faces once again. Gentlemen, I salute you and I will see you tomorrow.